A child's uh, wonder a echoes through Birch Aquarium's newest exhibit. Wow, 11 feet? An 11 yeah. foot, seven and a half inch oarfish specimen found washed ashore in Encinitas last fall now captivates visitors. Daddy, this one's taller than you. For the record, this meal is considered small. So how deep do they live? We're about to dive deep, real deep. Welcome to the home of one of the ocean's most mysterious residents, the oarfish. These ribbon-shaped creatures can live anywhere between 500 to 1,000 feet underwater where the sun barely penetrates. They're fly growers. Starting at 2 to 4 millimeters when they hatch from their rakes, the juveniles develop these ornate and elongated dorsal fins when they reach 2 and a half feet. But they can typically grow 10 feet. Some have even known to reach a staggering 36 feet in length. That's the height of a three-story house. <sighs> Making them the longest bony fish in the world. No wonder sailors once mistook them for sea serpents. How cool it The mythology behind these sea creatures is fascinating. The Oarfish Recent Discoveries exhibit explores Japanese folklore that claimed oarfish washing ashore once warned of disasters. We're just really excited by all those stories and also excited to dispel them in a way. Oarfish are rare in California. You see only 22 have been spotted since 1901 with two washing up in San Diego County last year. No, they live kind of in the midwater. Okay. Manager of the Scripps Institute of Oceanography Marine Vertebrate Collection, Ben Frabel, says the mystery remains on why they grow so long. One thought is that they have this special adaptation to their digestive system, and always having a full stomach may allow them to grow to these very large sizes. Their silvery skin mimics jellyfish, and they feed without teeth. They have this special jaw that they're able to push forward out of their mouth, and in doing so, they generate suction, and they're able to kind of slurp down this krill. The big question remains whether recent California beachings link to changing ocean conditions. Are they here because of climate change? Will more wash up this year? Uh, remains to be seen. <laughs> At Birch Aquarium, Abby Black, CBS 8. Cool stuff. Thanks, Abby. And the Oarfish exhibit runs through summer and is included with your general admission. While you're at the Birch Aquarium, don't miss the newly renovated Adam R. Scripps Living Seas Gallery. It's an $18 million project that is the largest in the aquarium's history. The hall features a giant Pacific octopus, jellyfish, Japanese spider crabs, a loggerhead sea turtle, and an up-close view of life under the Scripps Pier. There's also an interactive kelp wall where visitors can explore.